Hello and welcome, it is Debs here. Great to be with you, great to have you with me. I want to talk to you today about the trouble with spiritual teachings. This has come about because of a few conversations I've had with people when I have made certain statements and they've come back with, well, you know, is that statement absolutely true? I'll give you an example. Um, I wrote something about just because a thought is in your head doesn't make it real and true and doesn't mean you have to think it. And somebody contacted me and said, as a spiritual teacher, you should not be teaching that thoughts arise in a head because thoughts arise in consciousness and not within a mind. They're not personal. You know, it's not personal in that way. Now, what I see with spiritual teachings is because we have words, because we are here in human form, trying to point to something before the form, we're trying to point, it's like we have a finite mind as a human being and we're trying to point to something infinite. For example, have you ever laid on the grass, you know, laid on your back on the grass on a nice sunny summer's day and looked up into the sky and thought about the fact that the sky is infinite. There is not a place where it stops or ends. I used to do this quite a lot when I was a child and it used to make my head go funny. I would sort of have to get up at some point because my finite mind can't comprehend infinity. And so to a degree, when we are conversing as human beings, when we are sharing these teachings, human being to human being, there is something that cannot be conveyed in the words, cannot be said. And pretty much, as far as words go, anything you say, the exact opposite can also be true. And so to me, an understanding of spiritual teachings and getting past that is... There is something deeper within us that knows. And the minute that you are hearing something somebody says and you're coming up and you're judging and you're disagreeing and um, you're um, defending what you think, you've moved out of hearing beyond the words. You've moved out of hearing what the, what the message is that's being conveyed. You've got caught up in the words and stopped hearing something beautiful that is behind the words. And I hold my hands up to doing that all the time. I'm, this isn't a criticism of anyone. This is much more of an observation of something I do. And I know when I stop doing that, there is something for me to hear and learn in what other people are saying. Yet when I come back with, well, maybe it's not that, maybe it's, it's this. What I've realised is there are there are times when it, it, it's not this or that, it's both. There are times when it is this, there are times when it is that, and there is a beautiful place of balance. And our feelings are a, a great indicator as to where we are. Like if we are feeling agitated or if we feel that we the, this need to defend or we feel the need to argue with something, I know for me that is a sign for me to go inside and look at that, look at what I am missing, look at what I am not hearing and not seeing. Now, if you liken this to, to parenting, if you imagine that the thoughts we have and these things are like, our thoughts are like our children. And when you think of a child, we are of, we are the same nature it's like when I think of my grandchildren who are quite small, the only difference between me and my grandchildren is I am an older version of them. My, you know, who I am, what, what I am, my essence, everything, we are the same. And it's like that with, with our thoughts. Like when I am bring when I am with my grandchildren when I'm parenting them because they're with me, what I see is I parent them with love. And guidance. I don't beat them into submission and make them. But there are moments in parenting, there are moments when we are with um, a small child where we have to say this is how it is and there's no arguing. And there are moments when we listen with love and understanding and we hear what they're saying. And it's the same with ourselves, it's the same with our own thinking, it's the same with a spiritual understanding. It's like come at this with love, come at this with gentleness. I know for me personally, inside my own mind, there are moments when I just say, no, just shut up. You're, you're, no, that's it. End of. No. And there are moments in my mind when 
I hear, I listen, I, I want to know, I want to understand. And it's it's exactly the same. There is not a one size fits all. That's why we can't have um, a spiritual manual or a parenting manual or anything like this that says in these circumstances, when this happens, when you think like this, do this. It's what would love do in this moment? What would love do? And love is not judgmental. Love is not defensive. Love is none of those things. Love shows up and allows all and guides and is loving and open and inclusive. So be very, very gentle with yourself and with various different spiritual messages. If something hits up against you, ask why gently within yourself. Ask why. Ask what you're not seeing. Ask what you're not hearing because there is so much beauty and so much intelligence and love that we can share here you know when I go back to thinking and I still do it now sometimes in the summer lie down and look at the sky even though my finite, finite mind can't comprehend the absoluteness of it I can still love it I can still enjoy it so enjoy whatever it is and and just Allow yourself love, allow yourself space, allow yourself to be guided. I hope there was something useful in this video. I have great fun making them. I love your comments, I love your questions. Please do leave comments, please do ask if there's a video I can make that might help you. And at the moment, if you are interested, I'm doing something called 365 Days of Cracking Creation, where I am diving deeply into how is it we create the experience we have and how can we create something amazing, something we love. All the details will be below this video. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you somewhere soon. Bye for now. Lots of love.